It was a crime that shocked Fresno's old Fig Garden neighborhood. The murder of a high school student, 17-year-old Nick Calls. The man convicted of that killing, Joseph Espinoza, was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole today. During the sentencing, Nick's mother told the court there is a void in her life that will never be filled. CBS 47's Liv Johnson is live at the Fresno Courthouse in downtown Fresno now with the details. Liv. Catherine, today Nick's mother Lisa says she hopes that her son's killer faces the same agony that she faces every day for the rest of his life. It was such an emotional day in court that the judge had to apologize for becoming emotional himself during the sentencing. And as he's leaving out the door, he says, bye mom, see you when I get home. Those are the last words I have with my son. It happened more than three years ago. But for Lisa Calls, the tragic murder of her 17-year-old son, Nick, feels like yesterday. And on Thursday, she relived it all over again while giving her final victim impact statement at the sentencing of her son's killer, Joseph Espinoza, just before Judge Jonathan Conklin sentenced him to life without the possibility of parole. The gaping hole in my heart and in my life will never be filled. I will never get a second chance to be with my son, Nick. Nick was shot outside of a home in an old fig garden neighborhood on June 24, 2018. Officials say Espinoza was on a crime spree attempting to raise money to bail a friend out of jail. He attempted to rob Nick and his friend, and when Nick ran, Espinoza shot him in the back of the head. He died at the hospital four days later. I have difficulty sleeping because I can't stop thinking about that day and the fear, the pain that Nick suffered. Espinoza was also sentenced to an additional 35 years in prison for attempted murder, attempted robbery, assault, stolen vehicle, and gun charges. Judge Conklin apologizing for getting emotional during the sentencing. I apologize. I became a little bit emotional during that sentencing. My emotions had no in, no play at all in the sentence to be imposed. It was simply an impactful hearing. Miss Calls giving her last words to Espinoza. <sighs> to be honest. I want him to suffer every day, like I have to. There is a fundraiser for the Nick Calls Foundation this evening. Uh, the Fresno Police Canine that's named after Nick will be there, and that location is 3484 West Bluff Avenue in Fresno. Live from the courthouse, I'm Liv Johnson, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.